So guys, we are at the bench. It's been a long time. <laughs> oh my god. And we came early so that we could solidify the cart because in the bins that we go to, if you don't come early, you can't get a cart and then you have to drag bags all day. And it's a madhouse in that bin. So cannot wait to get started. Look at the line, it's insane. So whew, let's see what we can do. Heading into the bins now, just a little look at the carts, all of the shoe bins. It's so easy going in the morning because, oh my God, it was a gym on Saturday. Seriously, so much of good pieces. Now you guys are seeing me just walking up. I'm trying to show you guys how much everything is. A little view of how the New York bins is. It is $1.99 a pound. Yep. And over 50 pounds, it goes down to like, um... 189 taking a look inside of the bins let's see what i find is it anything good just gap wow we don't want gap <laughs> we don't need gap at all is that champion um no we can do without a little bit of champion in our life um so hard goods i instantly thought of jack with that pumpkin um if you guys are not following him what are you guys doing him and Ryan is awesome. I found this Hollister coat, guys. This is so Y2K, so exciting. Number one, I didn't even know they made Sherlands. And showing you guys a few finds. That's Marine Layer right there. My first time finding Marine Layer, if you guys don't know, is a very good brand to sell. Um, and I was at, I actually got that for regular posh. And this is Belt, if I'm saying it right. It's just a men's activewear brand. And I actually bought that for a live sale. It had a total of three of those tees. So, yeah, this one have a little fading. But, nonetheless, it did sell in the live sale, I think, for $15 for the bundle. Which is good when you're only getting something for about a dollar. So, a hell of a flip on that bundle right there. Those are all three pieces that I showed you guys right there. And a few more sneak peeks. I'm not going to show everything because why would we need a haul if I show everything? But, guys... I show you some pretty good things this is american eagle shorts and honestly i just like the color of it i just felt like saving it from the landfill my fiance found rag and bone for his live sale on whatnot he found michael by michael kors a coat which is exciting and then this looked like some vintage Tommy Hill figure right here. This was super cool, Tommy. Um, I thought that that was awesome. All of those brands definitely sell for him. It's funny to see what sells for other people with verse what sells for me. So I totally went back to the bins. I'm like, I need to find some more pieces, guys. I found a ton of good stuff. I mean, one bin was like ugh, everything to me found a lot of good things so we're just skipping through let's find what else we can see in these bins this one this ralph Lauren shirt i actually picked that up i thought that it was a decent color for the weather i love lilac as a color is awesome and yeah that sold for me on the live sale so i was super excited let's get another recap ah uh, love that looney tunes onesies for kids but i wound up giving that to my fiance just to see if he kind of wanted that piece he does better with kids item more than i do for sure yep we picked up that ralph lauren guys i really like that piece and it did sell for me so i'm super excited about that fine let's see what else i got to show you guys i was trying to give you guys all of the tea okay this Vince, it is kind of plain. Normally, I would never pick up a Vince that's this plain or Vince, period, kind of the sell. It's just kind of wishy-washy brand. It does retail for a lot, but I don't know. I gave it a chance for me, but I'm going to wind up giving that to my fiance. He'll do better with that brand for sure. I'm super excited to see. what. Oh, this is an express top, guys. This one was super spicy. I think it was an awesome top. Another brand I don't pick up for regular posh, but I was like, just for a second hand, why not to sell it on a live sale? It's just like awesome. This was awesome. They bought this right away off the live sale. I think it actually ran up to $20. Um, it sold for people who love their Mickeys, and this was actually um disney park so it definitely came from the park and it looked like a kind of vintage expired inspired piece so 
definitely love that. I think I'm just looking through here and saying, okay, what else can I show them? My fiance actually found the find of the day was this little looming bag, and he actually left it there talking about, oh, it has scuffs and everything. I don't know if you'll be interested in the little lemon bag. I said, go get it immediately. So, guys, I'm just goofing around right now, waiting for another rotation, and this is going to be the end of the video because it's haul time. Oh, my God. I am excited. Can you guys tell? Um we have to get started we're not gonna waste any time let's go guys let's go let's go okay guys right away i am super excited about this today and what we are doing oh my god my inventory is anyway i am literally about to get ready to do a posh show well my show starts at 6 30 and it's around like two o'clock or whatever but i have to prep for it and all of the things but it's okay i just wanted to do this video for you guys because i'm doing one that i haven't done in a while today is going to be a benz video oh my god i haven't done that in so long guys and the reason why is because i put a little change to my business whereas um on my past shows i was only doing like kind of the ob so it'd be like free people anthropology urban outfitters and it was a new tag type of vibe going on what I came to find out because like lives kind of it's like at its own pace right now. So like sometimes it's just unreliable, but that's like reselling. Of course, like some shows you can do really, really well. And then some shows is just like, what the hell is going on? So at this point I was like, okay, I'm, I just have to change my business model a little bit and not to say that i'm getting rid of um doing new attack items at all because i'm totally sticking to that because i do know that that's where it's kind of your the most money comes from people love new attack items i mean i love new attack items because i'm the first one that's gonna wear it for me like i was doing like just free people shows on monday and on wednesday at 6 30 eastern time but I kind of want to do like more shows and I kind of want to make it fair for everyone kind of the bid because like for example on my free people shows like if it's a crochet two-piece I'm starting that at $45 because the crochet two-piece could be anywhere from $198 all the way to like $250 so even me starting it at $45 like more than 85% off you know so at some point like if I started like at 20 or 30 that's just basically like losing money so i had to incorporate a way to make everyone feel welcome inside of the show so i said which way to do it then to go back to the bin so today is going to be a total bin show i'm super excited it was so fun getting out there guys like i just like oh my god i missed it so much like i literally went to the new york bins and guys when i tell you like it was so mellow so calm i was almost shocked because i haven't went for like probably like three no not even three months probably like five or six months honestly like haven't been to the bins in a long time because i started doing the new attack um pod shows about mm, october ish so either way it, it was re it was really exciting to get back out there guys i found tons of stuff that i've never found when i was going to the bins regularly and i know like it's not going to be every day that you find something amazing at the bins but still and yet you know like i'm paying for my free people items like anywhere from um what is it like ten dollars all the way up to like seventeen dollars per piece but it is two pieces it's clothing it's like um all of the things that i could definitely it's coats so i could flip my money off it but overall which way to get everyone in, involved in the show and to spend money and to do everything that they love with reselling then to go back to the bin so that's where i was with it i said we're going back to the bins and i was so excited to get out there guys this is an amazing haul i'm gonna try to get through everything really quickly so that we don't have to do a part two because no we're not doing a part two this might be a longer video so and what is <clears throat> sorry guys it's probably not going to be tons of editing that's going to be in there but i kind of don't really like to cut out all of the edits because i want you guys to see like the kind of authentic side of me you know what I'm saying? but yeah i want you guys to see like kind of the authentic part of youtube and i just feel like it's just more fun and more of a connection that we can join together than to just cut out every mistake now if it's something real bad you know it gotta go but <clears throat> for the most part we're gonna try it down so guys i don't have my receipt on me but i do know it was 95 pounds and 
And the New York bins now, oh my God, it used to be what one sixty nine a pound, but no, no more. Um, now at the bins is literally um, what is it? Is two ninety nine a pound? No, no, no. Is it is it two ninety nine a pound or is it one ninety nine a pound? Huh. Okay. I I want to say that is. Two ninety nine a pound, and then when you get over fifty pounds, it becomes one ninety nine a pound. So the more you get, the cheaper it goes. So for me, I had ninety five pounds, but um, I wind up it was only a hundred and ninety dollars, which probably makes my cost of goods probably a dollar or less, which is still a deal, especially for like second hand because in the Salvation Army and like Goodwill and stuff prices is really going up like inflammation is so real guys like the prices are insane and for like uh anything it's like a pants jacket shirt is like um 5.99 8.99 11.99 goodwill's outrageous with the 14.99 um j crew jeans and all of the things so it's like you know you just better even though the bin's like 2.99 then 1.99 over like 50 pounds it's just so much better if you go in there because you definitely get more for your buck and at this point in my reselling business i need more for my buck because the bins will help me out with all of the free people items that i'm buying so and it's just a way like i said the get everybody involved because this is definitely going to be like some low stars item i probably started that from 10 to 12 dollars on these pieces whereas my free people pieces is starting anywhere from 28 to like up like 90 dollars probably for a cold or whatever the case is so yeah let's get started guys that was a lot of jibble jabble but i just wanted to let you guys know what was my ideas going forward and what i'm planning on doing for my shows and guys if you're not following me on posh market is aces 1001 and that's where you will see all of my live posh shows and everything else and this it, we have a vibe guys it's super excited i love the people that be in there and i cannot wait for this show this is my first time doing a bin show but i'm super excited and i also plan on taking them to the bin with me so that we could kind of do something over there but anyway guys i'm like really excited about the show let's get started let's go okay guys so right away the first item that's up and if you see anything on the hanger just know i had to prep these items but this particular jacket well it's like three jackets i think that's on hangers and the reason why it's on the hanger is because like i had to um wash them but like i just want this to air dry i'm not comfortable with kind of putting it in the dryer because you just never know with things um with shrinkage and all of the things so i'm just like eh, i'm not gonna do it i'll just wash it and let it air dry that's okay but this oh my god guys <clears throat> literally it was like two bins that literally was insane and i mean every find was just amazing and it always gets me when i go to the bins how people like they just grab everything and if they're not putting it in their bag then they put back some stuff and then not only that they miss over like the people in my bins you could tell like they go on like the flea markets or like they got like their own little selling lot or whatever because they don't really know brands and i kind of like that because i can pretty much spot a retailer a reseller or anyone no guys it was nothing like that which worked in my favor because i have some good finds here some stuff some stuff that i actually never found before this is um one of the things that i've actually never found before in the wild for sure this right here guys is um a acg nike jacket and this is a size small guys i just love the kind of look at that um style that's on there it says acg right there it has its jawstring it has the like the little hat thingy for the ring but this is super exciting guys this is a size small i think that this is so fun it has the asymmetrical button guys and i this actually i'm not going to do this in the live show this is going to be on um regular posh it's going to be it's going to be i call it regular posh guys it's okay um this is going to be on poshmark i'm actually going to list this on poshmark and i'm comfortable with it selling on poshmark so i'm super excited about this piece guys um if you don't know acg nike is a very good um tear brand tear um top tear of nike to pick up because it does <clears throat> it does sell for 
very good money guys this is another coat right here and you're like ariel why are you picking up coats because why would i leave it in the bin for like a dollar or 80 cents like that that alone is probably gonna get me like probably 60 70 dollars this coat is probably gonna get me about 50 to 60 dollars and there's a couple of other things in here that probably look winterish but i'm not leaving it because when it's hot somewhere it's definitely cold somewhere and summer don't last always so i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited about this stuff okay this is the um this is super dry and this is the original zero two one jacket and it does have the super dry kind of imprint right there and it also has it in here guys and it has that beautiful like fox fur inside of there and this one is a gorgeous woman's jacket again this one is air drying as well i thought that this was super exciting guys look at them um magnetic buttons each button says super dry is just a way to authenticate if the jacket is real or not definitely real on the drawstring it says super dry um <clears throat> beautiful jacket guys i think this is awesome i do have to check comps on this particular jacket but guys i was not leaving this jacket um at the bench so like i said this should be anywhere from like 50 probably to 70 dollars i'm okay with that and i'm okay with those pieces sitting for a while because i do understand that the weather is changing but at the same time i'm not gonna leave that in the bins at all for that pricing not at all um and then i actually wanted the weight this time like because it's so expensive if it oops Oh, I'm getting live show notifications. Um, it's so expensive if um if you don't reach that 50 pounds. And I was like really, really trying to reach 50 pounds. So I was okay with getting them jacks. I know a lot of times you don't if you don't get heavy duty stuff, you get kind of more for your buck, you get more pieces, but no, I wanted to get that. This is Pendleton, and this is a size small, guys. I thought that again. This was super exciting to get. I love that kind of flannel detail that's in the back of it. And this tuddy bear type of um, fur. I think it was cute. It does have pockets. It said Pennington right there. Again, guys, another good brand right here. I know that it slowed down a little bit. But at the same time, this will definitely sell. And I am... I'm, mm, I'll probably do this one in a live show. If I don't, then it will be listed on parts. But let's let it go in a live show first. You know, I'm, I'm comfortable with making um fast money on that one for sure and guys we're going to the back uh, uh, we got the bag okay but we are gonna get this out the way these are teavers and i just have like a real love for teavers like i don't even know why like it's just like we need teavers so i wish that this was my size because i totally would have kept it guys because Teavers are like some comfortable sandals, guys, that everyone needs. These are the Woman Universal sandals right here. And it has like the little different color um, draw, like, you know, what is it? A attached like kind of things on there, you know? Yeah, whatever you call that. But it does have like the little attachment, like little things on there, which is so cute. This is actually a Woman's 10 right here so and it's actually i actually did wash these these went through the wash but very good condition guys don't even look like anyone actually wore them okay you know they're second hand though but super cute i think that those are awesome and i know that these is like tiva got these listed for 55 dollars. i know on partial they're selling for like 35 but again guys super good deals and if i could sell this in the um and a partial i'm totally down for that just to kind of my goal is like to get stuff to get inventory and actually move the inventory like i don't want nothing pretty much sitting around unless it is a piece that i can honestly like sit on and wait to get my money back because there's some pieces out here that you can really get your money back on okay this is a ralph lauren size large robe and um yes it is belted the belt is in some somewhere in there but it is belted and it is white it does have um pockets on both sides but i just thought that that was super fun guys uh, this is actually going to be in a live show today so <clears throat> i'm super cool with that this is a bowden coat and i was told i do i do very well with bowden actually whenever i listen up i do know that this is the old label of um bowden and this is a size four. It is a, a like a smaller size. But again, guys, um, I was not gonna leave this coat in here. And if anything, I am trying to do some research on like some consignment stores next to me where I could like kind of consign some pieces too. But there's a difference. Like when you're into like live selling, 
um that's kind of like your consigning place i don't know if that makes sense but you know how some consigning stores take and and taylor like um j crew or like um zara and all of the things this is some stuff that yet yeah, the consignment store might pay you like the four dollars or like the five six dollars for it but if i can start it on a live show for at least ten to twelve dollars i'm making more for my buck if that makes any sense so that's why i kind of like i didn't really do the consigning because like if i'm doing live shows and it's still leaving regardless why give myself more work but i just thought that this duffel coat was so freaking cute i love like the little butt the little um button details on there again guys super super fun and it is like a cherry red coat and if that does sell on poshmark it would I, would I would take either like 35 to 45 dollars for that i think that that's fair enough for that price oh my god guys don't laugh at me but i definitely bought an apron i I love to cook. I love to cook. I watch cooking channels all of the time. Tournaments of Champions. Um, America vs. Alice going to, she going to Shelly. Chop. Like, that's my secret passion, guys. So besides reselling, now you guys know I love to cook. And I love to play basketball, too. But I, I really love to cook basketball and football. But I really love to cook. So um, I actually bought an apron because, like, I'm thinking that me and my fiance, like, we're going to take, like, some cooking classes up like that i want to go to a tournament or something guys this is so sidebar but like we're gonna do the most so um <laughs> i just want to learn more like i just want to learn more so i found some cool like apron this is like super cool and this is the one that you kind of like wrap around you right here and yeah guys i i just wanted it <laughs> i wanted it and i needed this i was like oh that is so fun to do that one um this guys is super fun okay this right here is a romper open back. This is ASOS. I'll show you guys the label. That's this ASOS design. I don't know if that's their higher tier. Um, this one actually is a size 10, which is a great size. It does have some scratch into it, guys. Excuse the clothing because they're not yet steamed. I have to steam them for the show today. But either way, guys, look at this um, romper piece right here. Your chest go there. Um, and then it's like a, a jumpsuit. So like a jumpsuit it is super cool guys i think this is gorgeous look at the back of this romper right here that is just so fun to me i think that that is a gorgeous piece and it's like this kind of wide leg too the leg opening so again another par show item this right here guys is ll bean and this kind of caught me off guard because i never knew ll bean makes sleepwear i know it's like um very much known for like their outerwear like kind of vibe but i didn't know that they make sleepwear but either way this is a ll bean 1x um gown i love the pleating that's in the front of the dress i just think that that is gorgeous guys and it's a gown it's like a nightgown it's super cute guys it has like buttons on there it's just all around really gorgeous and again this will be on a live show i don't know if anyone know but ll bean will is definitely one of my favorite brands to like i don't know just sell and like just go to like i don't know, i don't think that it changed this is express guys this is a size small this is express and again a uh, just a bodysuit but it's super cute though i think that this is really gorgeous and i just love that little cutout in the cross um top tag goes around the cross wrapped and then like the kind of cutout areas i think that that is fun and long sleeve and again that's so fitting for the weather over here as well this piece is what okay okay i know this is size four this is h and m i know i do not pick up h and m i promise you guys i really don't but for the sake of the live shows i just wanted to see how this piece do because it looked like a piece that honestly needed save this is gorgeous so this is actually a dress guys and you see the pleating that comes along the top and then the ruching area of it and then like it kind of goes long and then it sucks up at the bottom like it kind of gets like kind of low right here and then the dress is right there i just think this is a gorgeous dress right here guys and somebody needs it in the worst case if this doesn't sell i will keep it but i mean for ten dollars someone gonna buy that <laughs> someone should buy that all right guys so if you this is cause and cause i want to say is a 
I think it's a higher tariff H and M. Correct me if I'm wrong, or I'll just look it up. I mean, <laughs> but either way, it's definitely like a, a higher tier brand. And this is cost. And I always like getting type shirts like this, guys, because this is just like a a, a, a shirt that could go under like a blazer, or like just an easy basic that you could throw on. It does have like some marbled print, like some maroon and white and gray that's in there. Again, this one is a size medium, though. So, And then I like it because the bins have versatile sizing, you know? It's just nice, good size. Okay, guys, this is some PJs that I kind of picked up for me. Um, this is a size small, but I loved it. This looks so branchy and got trees and fall and all of the things. I just thought that this was so freaking cute. And I was like, ah, but I can't leave you. When I go to the bins and I see some stuff that I don't want to leave, I kind of keep it for myself. It's okay. But I need clothes anyway because the weight that I'm losing, guys, is like insane. And while we're on what I'm keeping, guys, this is like the piece of the year. Do you guys see what I see? <laughs> Take a minute. Take a minute. This is a bookshelf. It's a bookshelf, guys, with tons of books on there. This is insane. And it's actually PJs. Look at that. That is so cute. Oh, my God. That is gorgeous. I think that this is stunning. And I am keeping that. I'm keeping that. 100% keeping. I will not sell that. Okay. This is Reformation Bag. What? Someone literally, like, just literally threw this like they didn't even know what it was and i'm like i'm definitely taking that are you guys what you can easily sell this bag probably for 20 dollars on parts but that's still something like um and then i'll just do it in my show to see if anyone wants it like this is a reformation bag guys like is people insane or oh, i'll just keep it actually like i don't know something's gonna happen with this if you guys don't know reformation it's definitely like a really expensive brand like they re resell and retail they are really expensive guys and I'm pretty sure some pieces died down, but definitely for, like, their maxi dresses or, like, the real puffy coats and all of the things does really well. So, if you don't know about Reformation, make sure that you pick that up, guys. Check comps, of course, and make sure that you pick it up. Guys, oh, my God, this is the first time. Oh, I'm all over the place. This is the first time that I actually found Smart Wool. What? Yes, guys, I found Smart Wool. I was super excited to find it, but, you know with a smart wool without holes it does have a hole right there and it does have a hole right here this got a pretty good worn and then it has an even better hole right there but you guys are like why did you pick that up who wouldn't pick up smart wool with holes smart wool is smart wool will always have holes but it always sell even if this one is not in the best condition this still will sell for me for about at least 25 to 30 dollars 100 like i was not gonna leave this in the bins i was so freaking excited to find smart wool in the bins and i was like oh my gosh but this person foot really was warm but um they 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 did the wrong thing they just wore this to the t i don't even understand how you could get all of those holes and something but oh my god i was totally comfortable with that guys and this is actually going to get listed on regular posh that's uh, well okay this is american eagle and i think this is a size four yes american eagle size four jeans it has this little like discretion and ruching and not ruching why did i say that um fringe and all of the things on there okay so this this was in the bin with all of the expensive items guys like even the items that like i didn't even show you guys yet <laughs> It's so much good stuff in here, but no, this was in the bin with all of the other items. So I'm like, this got to be something too. It turned out that it wasn't really like nothing, but I really like, well, the comps wasn't really nothing, but I actually liked it. This jumpsuit, so I, I took it. This is Brave Soul London, and this is a size medium, but guys, number one, I'm a fan for floral, 100%, but this was cute, and, and rumpers and jumpsuits. This jumpsuit was really gorgeous, and look at the little um like the the little oh my god the little handles to it like the the shoulder like hold on look at this is so cute it's like ruffled and then it's like a jumpsuit oh my god that is so freaking cute and i think it has pockets as well this is just a really gorgeous piece guys i thought that that was really fun okay we have a ton of these shirts coming up this is like belt if I'm saying it right, it's, it's B-Y-L-T. It's like a men's kind of active wear brand. And this is kind of faded. I didn't mind that as well. It's like three other shirts that's going to come up. 
with this, but I'm getting this because it sells on Posh really good. And I'll do it on the Posh show if anyone wants it. But this brand sells really well on Posh from like 35 from 25 like to $35. But I'll take that from the bins. And some things can do way better 100% but it's a really good brand that if you guys didn't know about that just kind of look that up so I have like two more shirts that's actually coming up in that one this athleta dress I am going to do this on my show this is athleta it is a size medium and I love the scribe detail and again we got that ruche in there guys and this is just an athleta dress and I thought was so cool this one right here is what is this Okay, this is a Lexus, but this is actually, when you see that little dot down there, it's like a collab with Target. So, I kind of want to look up this to see if it's worth anything. If not, I'll just um, kind of like do it on the store. But I know some Target collabs could be really expensive, guys. So, make sure, don't just knock it out because you're like, oh, it's Target. No. Make sure that you guys kind of look it up and you're like, what are you doing? I'm plugging in my light for my live show um, video. Let there be light and there was light okay so <laughs> this one is really cute though look at all of that little pleating down there and the baby doll little flowy shiffles look at the details on here guys this is so fun and it is a size what size are you this is size medium guys and oh it's just so freaking cute okay live sell people love zara i don't like selling zara i won't i won't really pick up zara to sell in my regular store but if it's for a live show i'll pick up zara because zara do have some trendy and beautiful pieces it just doesn't do well on posh i've been stopped picking it up a long time ago like years ago um this is a size small though this is a size small that's zara and it's just like some regular kind of heavyweight jogger like sweatpants whatever but again i thought that that was super fun um asos was hitting today guys it was really hitting this is asos and this is a size 14 and this is gorgeous look at this asos button down dress all the way down guys i think this is so fun for it to be i think a, a 12 14 is like a large i want to say i'm not sure but yes this dress is so gorgeous so that's asos this is creative soul new york this is size seven i got these black jeans for me and this was all in that band so i said i need to check comps on that to see if it's something but i know i'm gonna just wind up keeping it guys i was so excited to find this oh my god i was so excited to find this this is a brand that i've never found before always heard about and all of this was in one bin oh my god all of this was in one bin and all of the coats i think was in another bin then some random stuff was in like different bins but literally guys it took two bins for me to get straight gems i paid one well i paid 180 besides the stuff that i got from my mom so with that being said i am going to triple my money on this seriously um this is marine Leia x lost and found so this is a collab marine layer and lost and found if regular if not if like regular marine layer is not good enough but guys this is the first time i'm finding this <sighs> i'm so excited because i really did find some like brands that i really wanted to find for a long freaking time and this is one of them so look at that beautiful rainbow detail that's on there i think that this is so so fun guys and i'm hesitant to lift list this on my regular posh just to see how it does like i don't know if i want to list this on the um the regular site because i'm not gonna lie some stuff in live shows can go low but that's why i kind of like posh though because people know their brand so if i price this at literally like 15 to 20 dollars someone is gonna bid on it because they know that marine lay is expensive so i don't know but this is the the thing right here to be determined where i put this at but i was just so happy to find that guys oh my goodness okay i don't always pick up j crew but when i do this is j crew 365 and this is freaking gorgeous look this just looked like a whole art museum where someone just had pastel colors and like just threw it on a dress look like a super sophisticated painting and all of that other stuff and i just thought that this dress was super gorgeous so i was definitely picking that one up this i don't really know the brand on this and i was just like gonna look it up because i didn't want to leave it in the bin with all of them gems and 
not pick it up and it could be something worth mega so i'm gonna show you guys this one and i'm actually gonna do a tag search on this so that i could find out what the heck is this brand right here so but this is the shirt though so it's just like a regular kind of shirt but if it's something let me put it right here we're gonna find that out together and oh guys we're almost done we're almost done but i had to lift that up okay this is a bodysuit right here this is nasty gal again not really nothing i would pick up but this bodysuit was given so i had to give it a chance um this is a us six and it is gorgeous guys oh my god animal print is in animal print is winning and bodysuits we love and that's a share this is the ralph lauren little belt that goes to that bag this is the other tiva sandal right here so we're gonna put that right there this right here guys i found two of these dresses and this is unico again not a brand that i pick up to sell on regular on regular poshmark but for live shows i'll definitely give it a chance and the thing that i like about live shows honestly is that you know like you can give brands a chance that you really wouldn't typically pick up in your regular store because it's not going to do well for you but i feel like with live sales and like um consignment stores and all of the things i just think it's another way of getting items out of the landfill which is like also great too because just because it's not like um a, a maywell high with high ride jeans or like reformation or free people or something like that that's gonna you know it's gonna do well automatically you can give like brands like unico or like j crew zara like kind of a a chance again you know so this is a unico dress right here it is super wrinkly guys but it is a dress from unico it has pockets as well this is a size what what size you this one's a size medium i got a charcoal gray one and then i actually have one that has no sleeves on there it does have pockets as well and i think all of this came from the same person again this is a medium as well so i might bundle those pieces together and start them at about like 12 dollars i think that's going to be fun this is maternity wear and i will not pass up maternity wear this is ag jeans again i really stopped picking up these jeans too long time ago but there's a 27r but this is like you know someone's always pregnant someone's always looking for maternity and i'm here to give them what they need it has like a little little style of you know a busted knee on there but maternity jeans why not this right here is gap and i probably bought this one for me actually yeah this is a gap this is extra small and this is such my vibe um of pants that i probably needed to keep these so yeah it has like a zipper down there with like the kind of um elastic on the, the bottom but yeah that'll be a me piece <sighs> this right here is american eagle this is a size large so american eagle size large it also has the american eagle little print right there and this is a beautiful color guys and this is guys this is just a size large this is made well right here size 27 and these are just like kind of mustardy gold jeans i love the patch wear um the patch pockets and look at those pockets right there so yeah guys these jeans right here is made well and i'm enjoying myself guys for the first time that i actually went back to find all of this stuff was like insane this is the other um belt i hope i thought i'm saying it right but either way these are the other like this is the other shirt and it also has it right there too so this is the other shirt remember we had we got one more to go now with that shirt and guys two of these pieces in here literally i'm comfortable with paying for this whole thing if the super the super dry jacket the acg jacket um the super dry jacket the acg jacket and it's two other things in here that i know for sure i'm gonna like triple my money off of it 100 percent. so this is american eagle size medium and again it is like an old american eagle thing but everyone needs their little open card again and like i said this is just a great spring piece right here this is loft this is factory loft and this is yeah this is antella loft but again guys some nice cozy jogger pants i think that these are fun and i love the little salt and pepper thing that it has going on to it uh what else we have here this guys is one of the pieces that will definitely if not 
pay for the whole overall, it will definitely take out your Bolo notebooks, take out a pen and a paper. You guys need to know this brand. This is Favorite Daughter. And it has it on like the sleeve right here. It says Favorite Daughter. If you guys don't know, I found I found out about this brand in one of my mega honey holes. But if you guys don't know about this brand, get to know it. It is a gem of a brand. When I tell you, I actually found a skirt from them. And when I tell you like this skirt sell for like $125, $100, you guys need this. So picture a sweatshirt. Um, so this is the label right here. This is Favorite Daughter. And it is a size large. It's a beautiful sky blue sweatshirt. Um, or hoodie, we could say. And it is so, so fun. And like I showed you guys, the black on here is actually tagged favorite daughter. But this right here, I'm comfortable with saying that this is going to make me the majority of my money back. That is a Bolo brand, guys. Make sure that you write that brand down. Okay, this was in the bin. I don't even know if this is something, but I wasn't going to leave it because I, I just got to check comps on it. But if it's not, I know who I'm going to send this to. This is a size large and that is super cute right there. So um, I just got to see. I don't know what to say about that one, but I really got to see if it's something. And this is the other one. Okay, we're done. We're done with it. We're done. So, this is the final tee that comes with it, guys. And I might do it in a lot bundle, but this one is actually really cute. All right. This is Vans. Again, another brand that I wouldn't really pick up for regular posh, but this is like a windbreaker jacket. I'm definitely going to sell that in a live show. Oh, my goodness. It's so cute, guys. And on the jacket, it says Vans. And it's a black jacket. It is a size large. So, again, another good size this is a guess extra large <clears throat> los angeles blazers and this is really cute look at this blazer right here guys this is so freaking fun i think this is gorgeous we're almost done these are all saints i was like oh my god did i just find that okay these are all saints right here guys jeans these are a size what what size these are size 28 and they like a charcoal gray type of vibe jeans right there again another thing that's going inside of the live show um this is urban outfitters urban is not something i buy for poshmark but this is so stunning I had to get this. This is beautiful. Like, seriously, I would even wear this if it was my size. It is a size large, though. But look at that tie dye. This one is ASOS size large. ASOS design size large. And look at this piece right here. I think that this is a gorgeous, like, overcoat. It's just, like, a beautiful, like, kind of coat-based jacket. And it does have, like, kind of buttons. So, this is Anthropology Cloth and Stone but again not a brand that i would regularly pick up but i wasn't gonna leave this there it is a size medium it's just like a flowy jean um a jean um jacket and it's like high low okay this is vince and vince has really slowed down for me definitely not a brand that i will pick up but again vince is so freaking expensive for retail and in their store i was not going to leave this behind and it's a size large and someone probably will definitely like this piece on the live show so i wasn't going to leave that lightweight hoodie here this is a disney piece this is mickey mouse and it is a size um medium and this is actually the mickey mouse piece it looks faded but it's actually not this is actually how they made it and this is actually a onesie um what that is exciting this is so freaking cute guys oh my god i know around this time of the year people love going to disney and all of the things so just shop in your girl closet this i actually picked up for me because i will not shop at old navy because old navy is freaking expensive now they are a loose screw so um yeah these are i don't even know what size this is but i know that i'm super small and i probably could fit it so yeah <laughs> this is old navy jeans that i actually got for myself well no they're actually pants <sighs> these are ralph lauren and like i said i don't really pick up ralph lauren but this i will pick up and the purple color just drew to me like i love oh i love this color but 
and then the tag everything about this speak good and then it was a size large i was not leaving that ralph lauren piece there this is this is Vineyard Vines, and ironically, Vineyard Vines always sell for me on a live show. I don't think I ever had a piece of Vineyard Vines that probably didn't sell for me. I don't know. I'm not sure. But either way, it says Vineyard Vine going down the sleeves. And then this one, I think, is a size small, I believe. Uh, Yeah, this one's a size small. Vineyard Vine size small. And then it does have the little, like, well at the back of it. On oh, my God, we at 33 minutes and like 50 seconds she yeesh oh we're done yay okay so it is a couple of pieces that i do have in my car i know um <laughs> if i have time to like show you guys i will show you guys like probably like gotta go downstairs and then get it whatever like that but i definitely will do like a little preview like hey guys but no so one of the other pieces that I was super excited definitely gonna make my money back was a lululemon bag do i have a story about that but it was a lululemon um leather pocketbook which is super freaking fun i was like oh my god i need that pocketbook so it was a lululemon pocketbook then it was a whole asos design new tag um it was an asos design new tag like kind of um set cable knit off-white set that was really cute and then it was a TNA. Oh, it was a TNA long black puffered um coat that was actually oh it was so beautiful guys. And those pieces alone will definitely pay for my haul. And there was a few more pieces, but overall, guys, this was a really, really successful Ben trip. I cannot wait to incorporate this in my business some more. I didn't know how much I really missed going to the bins until I actually like said, you know what? I, I got to do more shows a week. What about it doing it the bins? Because I don't want to go to like kind of regular thrifting stores. It just wouldn't make no sense for my business because you're paying higher and I can't really start stuff at 10 to $12 if I'm buying it for like $5.99 or like $6.99. So I was like, what better thing to do than to just go, um, than to just go to the, um, the, the store, like the regular store. So I thought that that was super fun. Okay, guys, just popping in real quick to show you guys exactly what is the remainder of the things that I grabbed from my car real quick to show you guys I just got done my show guys it was a wild show so like I said in total I paid um $180 um on a Ben show I just wanted to play around with it so I think I list about um 45 items or like 35 items and i made 168 dollars which means for this stuff right here it is going to double my money so this is coming in at the lululemon's leather pocketbook right here this is lululemon this is super cute guys i think that this is really freaking awesome look at this bag and it does come with like and i love this because you can like kind of put it up or whatever but it does come with like some leather peeling or like, but I think for the bins, why would I leave this? Even if I could sell this for like thirty dollars, I thought that this bag was a huge deal, guys. So I'll definitely do like some leather cleaning on there, but I was not gonna turn up that little lemon right there. This right here, guys, is a TNA um jacket, guys. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this jacket. It is the super puffer. It is the extra small, but it was absolutely in great condition, guys. It's a puffer coat and easily like probably like $70 if I'm not being modest on that. Um, this is a Mermot. This is a kids Mermot size small. Um, again, another good coat, guys. A lot of the stuff might sit for a while because we're not in that season. But at the same time, guys, I'll definitely recoup my money back from this Ben's trip, which I'm super excited about. Um, this is another coat coming in. This is the Hollister coat, guys. This is so Y2K. And I was like overexcited to like find this coat guys i was it was insane for me look at this coat right here this is a sherlin and yes this is the brand hollister but when did hollister start making stuff like this i definitely didn't have it in school what and then this zara right here guys is um it's like a zara jacket right here super cool and just look at this right here i think that this is freaking gorgeous um a real real nice unique zora jacket guys and just with those five items right there i'm definitely looking at at least over like probably like two hundred dollars two hundred dollars two hundred and fifty dollars easy so i think that that's super exciting i just wanted to kind of um 
get you guys a little accustomed to like um what did what what i had in the car and now i want you guys to see all of the things guys so we gotta go because we have some shippings to do over there we have to get busy all right guys bye guys thank you guys for coming to my show guys definitely um stay tuned for more um videos guys and until next time bye guys